Rodriguez, new for you tonight, a controversy involving South Florida Congressman Alan West and a Muslim organization concerned about his possible ties to radical groups. West responded with a one-word letter. CBS 4's Gio Benitez is live in Fort Lauderdale outside the congressman's office to explain. Gio. Elliot, as you're about to see, this letter is extremely short and nobody seems to know exactly what it means. If this looks like the shortest letter you've ever seen from a member of Congress, it probably is. How short? Try one word in capital letters. Nuts! Exclamation point. Signed, Congressman Alan West. I was shocked at first. I didn't expect this from a congressman. Nezar Hamzi is the executive director of CARE Florida, the Council on American Islamic Relations. We stand up for the civil rights for the Muslim community. That's what we do. Hamzi says he wrote to the congressman earlier this month with his concerns about the congressman's relationships with groups and people Hamzi considers to be anti-Islamic. When I first saw that, I, was, I didn't, wasn't sure if he was calling me nuts or he was calling my, my concerns nuts. Constituents in District 22 are just now reading the letter. It doesn't look too professional to me. It doesn't look too... Um... Um, thought out. This woman thinks it's fine, but says it needs a little more. Uh, maybe another sentence explaining. West has not fully explained his position, but in other letters to CARE Florida has said he is neither anti-Islamic nor anti-Muslim. Then we found this during World War II. General Anthony McAuliffe famously wrote a one-word letter to the Germans in response to a surrender ultimatum. The word used nuts. Hamzy doesn't think he'll ever find out what Congressman West meant with the word because he says West has turned down all meetings with CARE Florida. So if you could say something to him now today, what would you say? Um, I tell him to grow up, you know, to act like a congressman and engage in dialogue and to stop the schoolboy insults. Now, West did turn down an interview request from CBS 4 News, and we are still waiting for a statement from his office. We're live at the District 22 Congressional Office in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Gio Benitez, CBS 4 News.